Are you dive fit and fit to dive? Well, if you're not, watch this video. I'm going to show you how to. So this is the one we're going to show you the six functional movements for us as scuba divers, recreating them into six exercises in a quick workout to get you fit to dive, dive fit. Hi, I'm Andy the Northern Diver, and welcome to the workout after the video. So in this episode, we're going to be doing press ups, deadlifts, bicep curls, squats, rows, and carry. Okay, so we're going to be using the app on the phone to time it. So you're gonna do each of those exercises continuously for 40 seconds with a 20 second break in between. Do each of them for three times, then we'll swap on to the next exercise dictated by this. Or watch this video and copy me. Enjoy. Don't forget the water. It's flipping warm out here. Let's go. Rest. 10 seconds rest, take a drink, keep going strong. <coughs> Another 20 seconds rest. Don't give up, just keep going. Chest is killing. So on deadlifts now. Work strong. Just remember on the deadlift, push your hips out at the end. Little flick of the hips. Not as hard as press up these. Let's One more set of deadlifts. Gives a thumbs up. If you're enjoying the video or if you're hating the exercise but you're loving doing it. Oh, come on, let's get massive. arms now so on bicep curls so just keep rolling your shoulders off keeping them loose quick slurp of water straight back onto it three rounds bicep curls Let's I lied that was almost as hard as press ups but not as hard thank god All right. Just got one more set of these, then we're on the upright rows. No, we're not, we're on squats. Make sure you go really low. They say, ass to grass. Don't give up, it's all up here. This is Poppy. See a grey one? That's Ralph. You might join in. They are as hard as press ups. My God. Rest. 
chest. Just onto the rows now. What you want to do as you're pulling it up, keep your elbows tucked in and try and pinch those shoulder blades together. So you're really trying to get them to touch. So I did 32 on that one. I doubt I'll beat that on the next one. Let me know in the comments below if you beat 32. And give me a thumbs up, let's go. Smashed it, 39 on that one. You need to try and beat 40 on the last one, let's go. Stay strong, remember, it's just up here. Best. 38, I tried. Clear area, get some of those. Going for a walk around. For this one, if you've got carry handles, use your carry handles instead of holding a pillow valve and drink. That's it, we've only got three more rounds to go. That's it, easy now. Homeward stretch. Let's right, got one more round of this, and then carrying the cylinders. On the side, if you've got handles, we're gonna do lunges. If you don't have so, uh, handles on the side of your cylinders, just do another walk round and drink. If you want to do lunges, you could use weight belts if you've not got handles on your cylinders. And rest. Warm out here. 20.1 degrees. Whop in. Nearly finished. Don't waste it pouring on your head. Drink it. If you want to get the app, it's Wad Timer. If you listen to music, it's Eric Prids. If you like it, give us a thumbs up, click the subscribe and the little bell icon. I'd really appreciate that. That way you get a notification every time we post a new video. If you have enjoyed it, keep going. Do it again. Leave two or three days in between each workout. That way your body gets a chance to rest. And then you're not aching when you're trying to do that and it's hard enough anyway, isn't it? Remember to rehydrate. You might ache tomorrow. That's called DOMS, delayed onset of muscle soreness. It's nothing new. It's just that you've used something new. So your body's going to ache whilst it's recovering. Once it stops hurting, it'll be two days max, maybe three. Get on to uh, doing it again. Training count every time you do a round. See if you can improve that score like we did earlier on with the rows. But good effort out there. Well done. See you on next thing. Insta.